This screencast will show you how to set up JFrog Artifactory and start using it as an RPM repository in minutes. JFrog Artifactory is a universal artifact repository. It works with different build tools, CI servers, and packaging systems. Please see additional screencasts from JFrog to learn how to use Artifactory with other tools. After requesting an Artifactory license or as part of an upgrade notification, you will get an email from JFrog containing a link to a special bin tray page with Artifactory downloads. The simplest way to install Artifactory as RPM package is to configure bin tray yum repository and install Artifactory from it. JFrog Bintray is a modern, feature-rich distribution platform. For example, you can use Bintray to get notifications when new versions of Artifactory are released. After the successful installation, we can start up Artifactory. The user guide explains how to do that. All we need to do is to start the Artifactory service. There are more ways to install and run Artifactory. RPM for Linux, running as a service for both Windows and Linux, installation in existing servlet containers, and even a Docker image for running Artifactory as a Docker container. Now, when Artifactory is up and running, let's browse to its web interface. First, you need to install the license. Simply paste the license code that was sent to you by JFrog. Now, Artifactory is ready to use. Artifactory can be used as a local proxy for RPM repositories, which are in use by Red Hat Linux and its variants, like CentOS. It can also host and serve RPM packages, which are uploaded to Artifactory directly. If you want to deploy and serve your own RPM packages, you need to configure a local repository in Artifactory. Remote repository is useful for proxying other RPM repos, such as CentOS.org. We will demonstrate creation and usage of both. Let's start with a local repository. Click New to open up the repository creation wizard. Select Yum as a repository type. The only mandatory field here is repository key. We'll use yum-local. That's the ID the repository will be browsable under. Please note the yum metadata folder dev setting that you can use if you need the metadata to be generated in a subfolder as opposite to the root of the repository. Next, we'll create a proxy for the official sent OS repository. Again, select yum as a repository type. With remote repositories, there are two mandatory fields. For the repository key, we'll use sent OS since we're proxying the main sent OS repository. And for the URL, We'll type in the repository hostname. It's always a good idea to test the connection. Now we can see our newly created repositories in the tree browser. It's time to configure yum tool to work with them. For setting up your tools to work with Artifactory, the Set Me Up button is your best friend. The pop-up window gives you all the instructions and provides you with valuable configuration snippets. It is context sensitive and shows the relevant information based on the focus location in the tree browser. In order to use Artifactory as the source for RPM packages, we need to add it to the list of repositories. 
Set Me Up shows how to create a repo file and what content it should have. Now, let's try to set up Mercurial. As you can see, the package is found and to be installed from Artifactory. The installation was successful and we can see the package was downloaded from Artifactory. Let's look how Artifactory Cache looks like after the install. Here we can see the cached RPM file. It's time to put our local repository to work. Let's deploy an RPM package to it. You can do it via curl or other rest command or by using Artifactory UI. We'll use the user interface. After uploading the file, we'll provide the path for the package. We'll use a common layout for RPM packages. Once the file is deployed, we can see it in the local repository. Here are both the uploaded file and the metadata files generated by Artifactory, including the repo MD XML file. Let's use the Set Me Up button again to configure the YUM tool for retrieving RPM packages from the local repository. As you can see, the instructions are the same. We'll edit the Artifactory repo file once again, adding additional repository to it. In order to prevent conflicts with repository names, we'll do some renaming. Those are only logical names. You can change them at will. Now the Artifactory list file has two entries, the remote and the local repositories in Artifactory. Let's install our package. And the plugins package was successfully installed from an Artifactory local repository. This concludes our RPM setup screencast. You can use JFrog Artifactory to run Java builds with Maven, Gradle, Ivy, and Ant, and work with packaging systems of other development platforms, like Nougat, RubyGems, or NPM. Artifactory also offers tight integration with Jenkins, Hudson, TeamCity, Bamboo, or any other CI server. Artifactory is also a great artifact repository for your DevOps needs, since it natively supports managing Docker images, Vagrant images, as well as RPM and Debian packaging managers. You are welcome to visit our user guide to discover more features and our YouTube channel for additional screencasts.